Yo, what up homies, the crypto homie back with yet again another video. Today it's all about Coinbase versus the SEC. Last night we got some disturbing news from the SEC and Coinbase. So we're gonna dive into that in this video. If you guys like that kind of content, definitely smack that subscribe button and smack that like button. So without further ado, let's just jump on in it. Guys, Coinbase tweeted out last night saying, after months of trying to engage with the SEC on our planned Coinbase Lend product, which I'm sure you would like, we recently received notice that it intends to pursue legal action against us. We believe dialogue is at the heart of good regulation, even if the SEC may not. So guys, we're gonna jump into the juicy details because good old Brian Armstrong, the CEO of Coinbase, he has a story for us. We're, we're not gonna go through the whole thing, I'm just gonna have a few highlights. So he starts off with the millions of crypto holders have been earning yield on their assets over the last few years. It makes sense. If you want to lend out funds, you can earn a return. Everyone seems happy. A bunch of great companies in the crypto have been offering versions of this for years. Coinbase came out recently and said we would be launching our own version. It says we are we were planning to go live in a few weeks. So we reached out to the SEC to give them a friendly heads up and briefing. Guys, don't you remember? Earn up to 4% APY on USD stablecoin. Don't you like that as a debit card? Wouldn't you like to use that? You'd be like, yes, Coinbase, that's amazing. Thank you so much. We're gonna earn so much money. But then the SEC comes in and just says, nah, 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 not happening today, son. Continuing on, they said they responded by telling us this lend feature is a security. Okay, seems strange. How can lending be a security? So we asked the SEC to help us understand and share their view. We always make an effort to work proactively with regulators and keep an open mind. Guys, I think that's pretty cool seeing that Coinbase, they wanna work with the regulators, they want the regulators to be like on their side and, and they wanna follow the rules. They're not trying to be an anarchy, they're not trying to break the rules, they're just trying to play the game. They just wanna know the rules so they know how to order how to play the game. But what did the SEC say? Continuing on, they refuse to tell us why they think it's a security and instead subpoenaed a bunch of records from us. We comply. Demand testimony from our employees. We comply. And then tell us they will be suing us if we proceed to launch with zero explanation as to why. Guys, homies, I've been saying this Ripple versus SEC is not about XRP. It doesn't matter if you love or if you hate XRP. We want Ripple to win. We do not want the SEC to win that Ripple law lawsuit because if they do that, they will use that lawsuit against many other cryptocurrencies and many other crypto companies. Look at that. They will gladly use this against the good old, old Coinbase. They, they will come after your favorite crypto, your favorite altcoin, and they'll do it to them. So guys, look, like just a little tangent right there, keep that in mind. If you love XRP, you hate it, it doesn't matter, you want Ripple to win. Because we're all just one big community, and we really just need to stick together, because the SEC, we're seeing a lot of corruption. So continuing on, Brian Armstrong says, look, we committed to following the law. Sometimes the law is unclear, <laughs> really. So if the SEC wants to publish guidance, we are also happy to follow that. It's nice if you actually <laughs> enforce it evenly across the industry equally, by the way. A little, little nice right hook right there. Uh, and he, like he also says, but in this case, they're refusing to offer any opinion in writing to the industry on what should be allowed and why instead are engaging in intimidation tactics behind closed doors. Whatever their theory is, here is, it feels like a reach slash land grab versus other regulators. Meanwhile, plenty of other crypto companies continue to offer a lend feature, but Coinbase is somehow not allowed. Um, he makes a good point here. It says Gensler in his confirmation hearing states, and we quote, it's important for the SEC to provide guidance and clarity, end quote, Gensler said. Quote, sometimes that's a clarity, sometimes that's a clarity that will be a thumbs up, but even if it's a thumbs down, it's important to provide that, end quote, on March 2nd, 2021. Wow, Gensler, you guys are doing a great job of providing clarity. It's really helping everybody out in the crypto space. Yeah, guys, if you didn't catch that, that that's some sarcasm. 
Continuing on, if you don't want this activity, then simply publish your position in writing and enforce it evenly across the industry. Basically saying, why is this an unfair playing field? Why are they going after some and then not going after others? Why is that happening? It doesn't make any sense. It's hurt, hurting the consumer. Um, they've been trying to contact the SEC. He, he goes on and on to say how he tried to actually meet up with them and it did not happen back in May. They, they just would not allow it. He thought, oh, hey, maybe things are like a little busy, da, 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 da. But no, they did not allow that to happen. I, I, I want to scroll down, though, and I definitely agree with what Mark Cuban saying. Mark Cuban responded to this whole story time to Brian Armstrong saying, Brian, this is a regulation versus litigation. They aren't capable of working through them this themselves and are afraid of making mistakes in doing so. They leave it to the lawyers, just the people you don't want impacting new, the new technologies. You have to go on the offensive. Yes, I, it seems like Coinbase, they have been definitely playing the defense. They've definitely been playing, hey, let, like, let's try to be cool. Let's try to do the right thing. You know, let's follow the rules. But the problem is, as Brian Armstrong has clearly stated, they are not allowing the rules out there they're not creating the rules they're just saying we're like hey guys like we're gonna do this is there any issues oh yeah there's lots of issues what are the issues we can't tell you we we can't tell the issues but but if you launch this we we will have to sue you does, does that make any sense so it does seem like mark Cuban right here it seems like we're going to have to get regulation through the lawyers it's going to have to happen like that just like we're seeing through ripple people are, are speculating that we will get some new regulations, some new rules from the Ripple versus SEC lawsuit. And maybe Coinbase will be part of that as well. So what is your thought about this, guys? I just want like just want to say this lend feature is honestly pretty cool. I think it's going to be great. Scroll like scrolling back up here. I, I think it's gonna be cool. I can't wait to see his launch, but it's unfortunate that the SEC is getting it in their way. I mean, a lot of people hate Coinbase because they don't have a lot, a lot of these features, but they're taking a while because of stuff like this. I mean, you would love a good old 4% APY on your USDC coin. Wouldn't you like that? I mean, I think that's pretty cool. Uh, we, we, would, we want more of these features because other exchanges and places in DeFi have this. I mean, we see the SEC potentially going after the Uniswap. Is that really happening? I know it's all like allegedly there's stuff, you know, like going on there, but th like that's not good either. We really need to stick together as a community and you know, get together and support, especially with like with these lawsuits. Even if you don't like the the coin they're going after or the company they're going after, it doesn't matter because eventually one day they're gonna go after the company or coin that you really like. So just keep that in mind. And just a fun fact, guys: Coinbase the stock is down about three point five eight percent today at two hundred and fifty seven bucks. I wouldn't be surprised. This is definitely infecting their stock price. Of course, if they launch this new earn that like like the lend the four percent back. That's gonna help the stock. Like that's gonna help them. Like that's great for the company. Um, so at the same time, one could say the SEC is picking the winners and losers, just like we saw with XRP, just like we saw with Kin, just like we saw with a bunch of other coins they went after before. But those coins before XRP were low mark caps, and people really didn't care. So, what is your opinion about that? What do you think is going on there? Let me know down below. We're gonna wrap the video up with the good old BTCs. What's going on there? Guys, yesterday we saw the good old dumpage. I mean, the massive dumpage we saw. We held the 200 daily moving average. Then we bounced up. Today, we bounced right off the 50 daily moving average. We'll see. Will we continue to hold all that? What's gonna go on there? A potential golden cross that we've been talking about for weeks now, happening middle, maybe towards the end of September. Cannot wait to see that play out. That is these two lines right here. Let's see how it ends up playing out. See if it happens in, in the middle. Pretty, pretty freaking exciting. But uh, of course, we wanna stay above the 200. We wanna definitely stay above the 50. Of course, we wanna see that happen. So we'll see how that plays out. Definitely interesting. Remember, $1.1 billion worth of longs being liquidated yesterday. So it caused this massive crash. One could say this was was needed to wipe out all the extra greedy people. Now we reset and work on the next higher highs and higher lows. Let, let me know your thoughts about that. And guys, th like this Coinbase stuff, it's definitely disappointing. Uh, wouldn't you like your 4% APY on your USDC coin? I know I would. So let me know your thoughts down below. It's kind of sad to see in, in the crypto space that it comes down to having to have a CEO talk about the good old stuff that like that's happening. Um, it's a little disappointing the SEC is like picking the winners and losers like we saw like XRP. I don't know guys, it's kind of disappointing. Like this right here is not good for the crypto space. This right here is not good for the crypto prices. We want to like continue seeing things continue to pump. We want you know another altcoin season. We want Bitcoin to smash their all time high. But if the SEC is here smacking everything down, 
it's a little disappointing. So that's all I got for today, guys. I just wanna say thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you guys like this content, definitely smack the subscribe button, smack that like button, and uh, you know, I'll catch you guys in the next one. But until then, may the gains be with you.